Hi! Welcome, I'm She Paints, and I'm gonna do some boho and sing some Broadway, which, woo! How many of you were just uh, plucking whiskers off your chin? Is that just me? Okay, great. Thought it might be. This is my Hamilton dress. Some of you will think ruined it. And I added the Hamilton thing, logo kind of thing. And this is sort of a bright yellow, but I've added some dark and decrepit. I know you can't see it. Why am I talking about it? I don't know. That if you are in the Greenville, South Carolina area, you can get the delicious DIY paint or the delicious paint pixie brushes at the Unique and Chic Marketplace, which is right there in Malden. And I am a, a, a sort of a content creator, not sort of, I have a YouTube channel. Um, and I do a vlog and I am a furniture artist and a canvas okay, so artist. This is still wet because that's another thing I didn't get done today is um, adding, uh, getting a two kind of good coats of uh, Hey Sailor on here. But this is the side of it and I am gonna be able to boho it up a little more than the front. The front is pretty boho. But since I had the plan to have those women on there that are from Hamilton, um, I can't, I wasn't free to do just whatever. So we're gonna like let this just take us where it will. I've got the kissing booth right here. The delicious kiss. Look at that in the light. Ooh, that's nice. I'm going to sing Popular from Wicked. That was a, a request from last week. Also going to sing I Don't Know How to Love Him from Jesus Christ Superstar. That was another request. I don't know if it's dry, but I wanted it to be dry. And we're gonna play with this a little bit and just add some more of the color that I had in the front. And then because of that bright yellow Hamilton logo, I thought I would add some Queen Bee, just little touches of it, and make it sort of speak to the to the front. I love when people tell you where they're from because I love to see all the cities. And then if they're countries, then I feel pretty special. I feel like I'm something. I'm kidding, but it is cool. I'm using a putty knife. It can be any kind of putty knife. Um, I know that people who use use them a lot probably have a favorite type. I just need it to be clean. <laughs> okay, I should stop talking. I'm going to. The important part is that it's not, obviously there's not a little chunk of anything on it because if you drag it, it's gonna make a scratchy line. So I like to sand them. You should probably use plastic. I know Debbie Beard, uh, the creator of the DIY paint, the owner, um, uses that and it makes more sense because then you can't really scratch the piece. And yet, I uh, like the metal. I just got used to it. I just like that firm. I don't have a plan. Um, when you do this kind of finish, you really don't have to have a plan. It, it feels sort of scary because you don't have a plan, especially if you're one of those kind of people that's like, there's a place to put the paint and um, I need to know what to do ahead of time. I tell yourself that it looks good because it'll look like a hot mess. When I first started doing this and I would say, this looks ridiculous, what am I doing? But then I remember thinking, if this were Dion or the Turquoise Iris doing this right now, I'd be like, that's fantastic. It looks so good. So just do that. Look at it. Like, here's what I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go. I'm just gonna do this. I like to always start in the corner. And it's delicious. I'm gonna make it a little bit random, but I kinda... This is one of those things where you can, if you paint much, you're probably used to that whole, like, you never go against the grain kind of thing. And this you can, and it's it's kind of amazing when, when you do, look. Now, who knows? We're just gonna let it kinda, kinda go. Spray it. DIY paint has this delicious clay in there, um, which allows it to sort of like it's it's still on there. It's very it can be kind of thick, and yet when you get it wet, it's just like any other substance that's kind of it can be watery, it can be smooth. What I'm going to do is just kind of keep doing this until I get something that I kind of like. And so far, I don't really don't really like that. What I did on the front. I have put some dark and decrepit on this, but I needed to, to buff it. But I'm not going to show you the front yet. I mean, like showing you, showing you, because it's not really. I'm going to incorporate that in here, and that is what we need for some more depth and dimension. Um, I'm going to add another color in there, and then I'll stop, and I'm going to sing one song. So that I don't like that either. I should sing instead of paint, <laughs> for real. <laughs> okay, no, we're going to get this. It's going to get. We're going to get it. even better if you wait a little bit, let it start to set up a little bit. And again, this is a hot mess still, but we gotta just, you just gotta believe. You gotta believe it's gonna be pretty. I wanted, I didn't want those to be purple, I think, so I should have waited. That looks kind of like, see how, can you see that? I'm gonna pull you away. Once it starts getting um, a little bit tacky, then that clay, it's obvious that you're, you're working with clay, 
Oh my gosh, it's just, it's delicious. I love the feel of it. I love the feel of it. Woo! Because it's great. How many of y'all have seen, not necessarily on Broadway, I haven't either, but are familiar with, I guess, the Broadway musical Wicked? Anyone? Anyone? I've just heard the sound, the, you know, the soundtrack, the movie, whatever you call it, honestly. And uh, on YouTube, I guess it's probably not, maybe we shouldn't butter. Kind of missed it. And then we'll just see if it gets crazier or better. Or both. And we'll go from there. We'll let that kind of sit. It looks a little bit like sherbet, like ice cream with like raspberry and mint or something. Which is not what I was going for at all. But, so the water kind of helps, ooh! I don't know if I like that or not. We'll see. Now I wanna drag it a little bit and just see what we get. I'm just dragging it really lightly. That does look like sherbet. It looks like, um, what's that sherbet that is the kind that I wouldn't ever eat? It's not mint. It's more sophisticated than that. This is made of lavender. Can you see the lavender in there? Well, let's just let that meld and see what happens. Whenever I see someone less fortunate than I, and let's face it, who isn't? Less fortunate than I, my tender heart tends to start to bleed. Tender heart tends to start to bleed. And when somewhat somebody needs a makeover, I simply have to take over. I know, I know. Indeed, you will be popular. You're gonna be popular. I'll teach you the proper poise when you talk to boys. Little ways to flirt and flounce. Ooh, I'll show you what shoes to wear, how to fix your hair. Everything that really counts to be popular. I'll help you be popular. You'll hang with the right cohorts. You'll be good at sports. Know the slang you've got to know. So let's start. Because you've got an awfully long way to go. They were popular. <laughs> Please, it's all about popular. It's not about aptitude, it's the way you're viewed. So it's very shrewd to be very, very popular like me. And though you protest your disinterest, I know clandestinely, you're gonna grin and bear it, your newfound popularity. La, 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 you'll be popular, just not quite as popular as me. That, a little rough, but he wants to hear all about that, so thank you for listening to more Kissing Booth with my putty knife. On, if you don't do this, have never tried this kind of finish, tell me if you haven't. <laughs> and you're gonna say no, and now I won't. Thanks. Unless we scraped it all the way back to the blue. Okay, see, now we're cooking. All right, you might not be able to tell from there, but this is when I started out, those of you that are just joining, by saying that when you do this kind of finish, even if you're a planner kind of person, how it's got that clay is like setting up on it. Oh Lord, that is delish right there. Usually you don't want to mess with this as much probably. In this case, I think the more we mess with it, the better it's going to get. Thank you for being here and watching and spring. I don't know how to love him, what to do, how to move him. I've been changed, yes, really changed. In these past few days, when I've seen myself, 
I seem like someone else I don't know how to take this I don't know why he moves me He's a man, he's just a man And I've had so many men before In very many ways He's just one more Should I bring him down? Should I scream and shout? Should I speak of love? Let my feelings out? I never thought I'd come to this What's it all about? Don't you think it's rather funny? I should be in this position I'm the one who's always been so calm, so cool, no lover's fool, running every show, he scares me so. And you guys have a good evening. Thanks for joining me. I am She Paints, and um, I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.